Now, example number two. Evaluate point 0.35 times point 0.48 plus 1.24 using the order of operations. Now, do you remember the order of operations that I told you about yesterday? First yeah, of all, so you have to, to solve the product, then the, um, the exponent. Uh, and you will think we didn't take Iowa it, exponent. and then the multiplication, and then the divide, and then the plus, and then the minus. Bravo. That's it. So now here, what do we have? We have parentheses. So we're going to add first. So we're going to add first. Between the parentheses. Bravo. So now, point. 48 plus 1.24. Yeah, then next, what do you have to do now? Plus them together. Yeah, add them together. 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 so now, uh, 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1, 7. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 1 plus 0, 1. 1. So now, here, the answer is 1.72. And then what I need and to do next? And then we're going to multiply 1.72 with 0 0.35. Yes. Can you help me? Yes. Yeah, here. The first number now, how many decimal places we have? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, the first one, we have two. The second one, yeah. we have two. So how many decimal two. places we have? Four. Four decimal places. Okay, now next. When you need to multiply, what do you have to do? We have to cancel. Oh, we can't this cancel, sorry. You have to multiply the numbers as whole number. Well, we're gonna start with two. So now, yeah, let's just let's give hide this one, hide it. Yellow, we don't want it, and hide this one here. Okay. Yeah, now then two times five. Ten. Ten. Sorry. Ten. Ten. Two times the three. Two by three, six plus one, seven. Plus one, seven. But I want um, her to answer, not you, please, okay? okay? Then now, two times. Two times three, okay. Now then, what do you have to do next? Uh, put zero, because we're going to multiply What's your name? Zero. Wait, wait, miss. Excuse me. Because, because teacher, it's, we're going to start with ten. Miss, what's your name? Sorry, but my mom is back with me. Hello, what's your name? The one who is talking. What's your name? Sham? Yeah. Okay, I want Sham only to solve. Okay? Oh. Yes, Sham, continue. Okay. Then, two uh, times zero. Uh, two times zero is zero. Zero. Okay. The man turns the number here is to the right. No, you don't need to write it. Okay. Yellow, then we have to multiply seven now. Seven yeah. and tens. Uh, yeah, so we will put zero. What's zero first? Then. Seven multiplied by five equals 35. 35. Seven times seven. Um, equals 49. So, uh, yeah, plus three. 49 and uh, 52. 52. Seven times zero. Seven times zero, zero. Plus five. And five. Five. Right. Two times three. I'm right here. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hello. Seven times uh, three, twenty-one. We said plus, um, wait, seven times five, thirty. Five. Seven. Times three, it's supposed to be here. Seven times three, twenty-one plus three, twenty-four. Twenty-four, and then seven times zero, zero plus one, two. 
Now then, okay. what do you have to do next? Then we will uh, put the plus multiply with the one. Because yes. Sorry, we have let's say the hundreds. The one. How many zeros have I add? Two zeros. Two, two zeros. Bravo. Yeah, then one times five. Five. And one times three. 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 And then what you have to do now? Um, plus them all together. Yes, add them together. Zero plus zero plus zero. 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 Seven plus five. 12. 4 plus 5? Uh, 9. Plus 1? Uh, no, uh, 10. 10. 3 plus 2? 5. 5 plus 1? 6. 6. Now here, how many decimal places we have? 4. 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So here I should put what? The decimal point. Uh, this is my point, and uh, before it, we are going to go 20. Yes. Got it now? Yes. Uh, I think it's something. OK. Plus my money, so another girls can answer. Sorry, Malaka. Yes, Malaka. Now, what do you have? Yeah, but now, here. Uh, but please, Malak, I want to, to explain this one. Uh, then I will let you solve the next example, okay? Okay, okay. Here, what do we have? Now, please, all of you focus with me. Here we have a decimal number multiplied by 10 by 100 and by 1,000. Now you have to know something. When you multiply any decimal number with 10, you have to move the decimal point to the right. Now, when you multiply it by 10, you move the decimal point according to how many zero we have. We have one zero. So it means I need to move the decimal point it was here, and I need to multiply it by 10. Multiply it by 10 means I have only one zero. So now I will move the decimal point one digit. Sorry, I have to move the decimal point now. Supposed to be moved. Me? No. Just a second, please. It's here. Now, so now I need to move it one digit only. So the number comes six and forty five. So when you multiply point six forty five by ten. The decimal point moves one place to the right, according to how many zeros you are multiplied the number. The second one here, point 0.645. Now, just a minute. So now I no, no. Yes. Yes, that's it. Now then here. Uh, we, we also take it in grade five. Now here two. multiplied by one hundred. So how many zeros for the one hundred? Two. No, 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 let no, Malak. Let no, let no. Now okay. here we have two places. So now I need. Two places we will put it. After the four. So now, what we have to do now, we have to move the decimal point one, okay, two yeah. digits. So it comes like 64.5. 64.5. So here it will be 64. You don't need to put the zero, right? Point five. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Now, the third one. What do we have now? We have this number multiplied now by 1,000. How many digits to the right? Three. Three. So now Three. we have. So now. We need now to move this decimal point three digits. Three digits. Three, one, two. It's going to be six, uh, 645. So the number will be, yes, it will be 645. No, no, no. Yeah, if, if you have a whole number, okay. zero to yeah. the left, not important. Yeah, if, if yeah, it's in the left, it's important. If it's in the right, it's not very important. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, so here, the number of zeros in the power of 10 tells you how many places to the right to move the decimal? Okay, okay, Miss. I give you, I give you now one minute extra. Okay. Did you finish now? Okay. No. Now, uh, open your book, page 45. Okay. Okay, here now, yes, Malak, now. Now your turn. Malak. Malak, I'm. Okay, yes, teacher. Yes, Malak. Here, 12.42 okay. times 28 by 6. Okay. Yalla, here, what you have to do um, first? Um, first, we have to multiply 6 by 2. Yes. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, but first, we have to take the numbers. Yeah. As a whole number. Oh, a whole number, yeah. We don't write the decimal. Yes. Yellow okay. Okay. Um, okay, first uh, multiply six, multiply two. Six multiply two, it is uh, 12. 12, from. Put one up, and zero down, and two down. By four, it is uh, twenty-four plus one, twenty-five. Twenty-five. And six now six two. multiply two, it is twelve plus two, fourteen. Fourteen. Now six by one is six plus one, seven. Seven, bravo. Then what do you have to do next? Now we have to multi
multiply it uh, by it by two. But before that, what you have to add? Put a zero. Put a zero. Put a zero. Bravo. Yalla then. Yeah. Now it by it by two. It is uh, it by two is sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Then uh, eight by four. It is uh, thirty-two plus one. Thirty-three. Now, uh, 8 by uh, 8 by 2, 8 by 2, 16 plus 3, it's 19. Now, uh, 8 by 1, 8 plus 1, it's uh, 9. 9. Yeah. Now, here we will multiply 2 and put at 2 zeros. At 2 zeros. That's what. Right. Now, uh, Two by two, it's four. Two times four. Two by two, it's four, and uh, and two by four, it is eight. Uh, two by two, it is four again. Yeah. And two by one, it's uh, two. Yeah, well, it's two. Then now we want close. You will add, yeah. Uh, here it will be two because zero zero two five plus six it is uh, eleven. Uh, four plus uh, wait four plus four plus four because it's plus one here up. Four plus four is uh, it's equal to one. Twelve. Thank you. Yeah, twelve. And now. Uh, Nine by eight, nine plus eight, it is uh, you can say nine plus 17, one, 17, ten. See, Mela, you can say one, nine plus one, ten, ten plus seven, yeah. seventeen. Yeah, then seventeen plus eight, seventeen plus eight, seventeen plus eight is equal to. 25. 25, bravo. Then 9 plus 25, 4. 9 plus 4, it is uh, 14 plus 2, 16. No, wait, 9 plus 4, 13. Plus 2, 15. My turn. Yeah, 15. And then? Now, uh, 1 plus 2 is 3. 3, thank you. Then now, how many decimal how points do you have to move? It is uh, three. Three, bravo. Three, so one, two, three. Put it after the first one. Yes, that's it. One, two, three. So it's three hundred fifty-five point two hundred and twelve. Yeah, we can say three hundred fifty-five and two hundred twelve. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, madam. You're welcome. Can we do one last example? So, you want to solve the text one you mean? Teacher, I just I don't just take one more example and then I can Teacher, because the space uh, the space was uh, too small, so I erased a lot. So, Teacher, why they are not putting a big space? They are putting the small spaces. Maybe they are. They want you to write the final answer only. Maybe. If you 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 can bring your math copy book and write page forty five number one, and write the details. Uh, yeah. Can we do one more example? Yes, I yes I will continue now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Teacher, let's just put a hard new one. Uh, teacher Amira, can I answer? Yes, please. Yeah, you can. Here, what do we have? We uh, have this two point five multiplied by seven point four. Yes. Uh, four multiplied by five is twenty. So put the zero down and two up, and then four multiplied by two is eight. Plus two is ten. So we're gonna add zero and 
down. And we're going to add the one up. And then four times three is uh, 12. Uh, plus one is 13. Yes, bravo. Okay. And seven times five is... Uh, oh, stop, stop. First, what do you have to add? First, you have to add uh, zero. Zero, bravo. Then, yeah, and uh, seven, seven times five is 35. We'll add the five down and the three up. And then, yeah, like seven and, times two. And seven times two is 14, plus three is uh, uh, 17. Seven times two, 14, plus the three, 17. Yeah. Yeah. No, 16. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. And seven times three is uh, 21. Plus one. Plus one is 14. Uh, seven plus three, 21, plus one, 22. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, zero plus uh, zero, plus zero is zero. Zero plus five is five. Zero plus three, I mean, no, seven sorry, plus seven three. Plus, uh, seven plus three is ten. And uh, one plus two is uh, three, plus one is four. And we'll put the two down. Yes. Then, how many decimal points here we have? We have uh, two. Two. So how many places should I move? Two. Two. One. So the answer will be 240. 240.50. Uh, yes. Or you can say 40. Miss, um, sorry, I cannot because uh, here in uh, this application, if I if I uh, erase, I cannot go back. Okay, but you will find the answers on uh, the course material. Teacher, I think that we still have 10 minutes. We still oh, yeah, can yeah. do another. We can one. do another. Yeah. Shall I, did you finish? I'm waiting you to finish. Just that. Yeah, I, I am writing. Yeah, you are writing. Okay. 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 I'm writing with you. Okay, okay. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're okay. Now, here now, evaluate using the order of operations. Here, as we said, first we have to solve what is inside the brackets. Then we have Teacher, to let's solve with the minus. Let's solve with minus. Yeah, okay, let's solve number one and, and for one, uh, for, uh, sorry, number four and number five. Yeah, number four here, what do we have? 9.2 minus 0.8. What's your name? I'm Malak Mahmoud. Yes, Malak. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I think there's a problem here. It's number four, teacher. Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, the number four now. What do you have to do first? Uh, uh, we have the uh, Parentheses. Yeah, the parentheses. And we're going to plus the uh, 9, the 2, uh, and the zero, 0, the 3. So 9 minus 2 from point 8. Then. Um, then now we're going uh, to minus 2 minus 8. We're going to make the total. 
Yeah, we we'll add it will be nine nine nine. And nine will be eight, sorry. If you close, you take ten from it. Then twelve minus eight. Uh, twelve minus eight equals four. Then if you have to add then then minus then add a decimal. Yes, bravo. Add a decimal point. Then? And, uh, and then uh, uh, minus 8 plus 0 equals 8. 8 minus 0 is 8. Okay. So the answer here is 8.4. Then this number, we're going to multiply it now by 0. 0.75. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so, so we're going to multiply 0 0.075, multiply it's a dot 4. So now you just write 75 times 8 or 4. Okay. So uh, 5 multiply 4. Four times seven. Four times seven equals uh, twenty-eight plus two equals thirty. Thirty. Then we're gonna now add zero. Bravo. Down. Then if multiply five equals uh, equals forty. Forty. So zero down and four up. Is it right? Yes. Yes. Uh, now, 8 plus 7 equals uh, 56 plus 4 equals uh, 60. 60, thank you. Then what do you have to do? Uh, we're going to plus the, uh, the numbers. Now, 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0, 0 plus 0 equals 0. 3 plus 0 equals 3. And uh, 6 alone. Right. So it's going to be 6. Now then, here, how many digits do you have? For the first number, uh, we have three. Three oh, We have we have four. And here we have one plus. Four. So how many four places we have to move? Four, four. Four. Bravo. One, two, three, and four. So here will be the decimal point. Is it right? Yes. 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 So here the final answer is point sixty three. Thank you, teacher, for letting me answer. I think we can solve another no. one. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, I'm able. Now, let's. <laughs> Miss, please, the one who's laughing. If you repeat it, I will let you leave the class, and I know you. We didn't say anything that's need to, to, to laugh or to smile. At least smiling. Now, here we have number five, 11, 10, and nine, nine. Which one you want to solve? Look at them. Which one heck it's, you find that it's had an uh, different uh, idea? Uh, let's solve, uh, here. Here, see, I will go back to the, this one. In this one here, you have to multiply first 0.3 times 2.16, and the answer, it will add it to 2.83. Okay? Now here, in number nine, we have to multiply first, then subtract it. In number 10, we have to multiply these two numbers first, and then the answer will be subtracted from 5.8. And number 11, we have to add these two numbers, then multiply the answer by 6.4. Which one you want to, to solve now? 11, teacher. 11? Yes, teacher. Add, then multiply? Yeah, yeah. Or it's of the subtraction? 
Here we have to multiply first, then subtract the answer from 5.8. Yeah, let's so do it here. Here, what do we have? 15 and 25. Yeah, 15 and 25. Yeah, now 5 times 5. Okay, it's a 25. 5 times 1. 5 plus 2. 7. Why does the 15 come? Here. Okay. I, okay, I will hide them like 25 and 15. 5 times 5, you say 25. 5 times 2, 10. Plus 2, 12. Then we will go now to, uh, to multiply the 10s. Add 0. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 2, 2. Then five, seven, three. Is it right? Yes. So here then. No, How is that? No, How many sure. decimal places? Yeah, then how many decimal places? Three is decimal places. Is it right? I one, two, three. So now the decimal point. It will be here. Now next, so 5.8 minus 0.375. Now for this step, did you understand it? Now, next, what you have to do? Minus. You have to minus them, yeah. 5.8 minus 0.375. Now, then, what you have to add? Zeros in order to subtract. Is it right? Yeah. yeah, then no. Zero minus five, can I? No. No. So here it will no. be what is zero. Let's go to the next zero. Can I take one from it? No. no. Then no. I will go now to what? From the seven. From the eight, it will be yeah, seven. Bravo. Eight. And this eight. ten, it will be at uh, this zero, it will be ten. And then take one from the ten, it will be nine, and here it will be ten. Then 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 7 is 2, 7 minus 3 is 4, and then here, 5. So this will be now the final answer. I'm sorry if I talk two minutes from your break. This will be the final answer. So here, first you have to multiply, then you need to subtract the answer from what? From the 5.8. Goodbye. Is it clear? Yeah.